the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. James 1 verse 17. Please do well to get the teaching. The Bible says every good gift and every perfect gift, James 1 and verse 17, tells us that it comes from above and comes down from the Father. So I took out time in the first service to teach on the fatherhood of God. The consciousness of the fatherhood of God takes away fear from our lives, takes away doubt as to whether it is God's desire to lift us it is God's desire to bless us. It is God's desire to advance us. The consciousness of the fatherhood of God gives you confidence. Hallelujah. And I did say that the word Abba means source. It means sustainer. And it also means defender. That if God is your source, if God is your sustainer, if he's your defender, then you do not need to fear and i charged us to approach god beyond the realm of superstition and religion that more than being the creator of the ends of the earth more than being a miracle worker more than being the god of the universe he desires to be known by the saints and his children as abba and that the hallmark of fatherhood is not having children it's not procreation is the responsibility that is expressed through benevolence the ease to give the ease to release is god's idea of fatherhood if ye being evil know how to give good gifts so a true father is a giver not just a procreator a giver according to scripture you do not need to have physical children to be called Abba the moment you have it in your heart that you are a giver you are father and that our father in heaven is not just a receiver but he's a giver I think let me just stress that before we go uh, into the next aspect of this teaching for most people and I think sadly religious people have made it that way our idea of God is just that he's a receiver receiving money receiving service receiving our time and threatening us that if we do not give these things there are consequences that follow us so largely out of fear or a sense of guilt people continue to engage in spiritual activities but the revelation is not the awareness of his fatherhood the revelation is fear of some sort the bible says it is more blessed to give than to receive and so if it is true that God is a father it means that no one should outgive him he should be the giver of all good things and we prayed and obtained grace from the Lord hallelujah the next revelation very quickly for this service and then we'll pray the next revelation that governs the manifestation of good things the manifestation of the goodness by the way let me say this the goodness of god is a dimension of his glory remember when he told moses said to see his glory he made a request that i may see your glory and the reply that came from god was that i will let my goodness i will cover you 
and I will give you an opportunity to see my goodness. So the goodness of God is an aspect of his glory. And you have not really experienced the fullness of God's glory. If all you have seen is his light, you've fallen down and, and stood up and all of that. If that's all you have seen, you've not seen the fullness of God. There is a dimension of God's glory that must be revealed as his goodness. In fact, here's what the Bible says. Oh, taste and see. Not just that the Lord is powerful. You can taste and see that the Lord is good. Jesus, you are so good to me in all circumstances. In all circumstances. Oh, Jesus, you are so good to me in all circumstances. In all circumstances. Oh. Hallelujah. The goodness of God revealed in the life of the saints the quality of benevolence the quality of bringing joy to the saints bringing joy to the children of god by making sure did you know look at me you do not need things to happen in your life to be joyful you can be joyful even in the midst of the storms count it all joy my brethren he said when you face diverse temptations however you need things to be given to you so that your joy will be complete he says, he that told you have not asked for anything, Jesus said. He said, ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. You cannot have the fullness of joy until you taste of the goodness of God. It is true that you can have joy in the midst of storms. It is true that you can have joy in the midst of nothing. But you can never experience the fullness of joy until that dimension of God called his goodness is revealed in your life. Turn it into a prayer in one minute. Lord, show me your goodness. In the land of the living, show me your goodness. Show me your goodness. Give me a revelation of your goodness. Show me your goodness. Is someone praying? Remember, it is those who ask that receive. Lord, I remain joyful in the midst of my situations and circumstances. However, I need the fullness of joy in this season. The fullness of joy in this season. Dependable, dependable God. Are you praying? It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional say. Intentional, intentional God. Here's the part I want you to prophesy into your life. That everything is working out for my good. Dependable God, one more time. Dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter comes my way you are still God intentional intentional God everything is working out for my good you are good you are good Jesus You are good. You are good. You are good. Jesus. You are good. Jesus, you are so good to me. In all circumstances. In all circumstances. Oh. oh, oh. So good to me. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Oh, taste and see 
that the Lord is good when doors begin to open in your life in a way that you cannot explain that is the goodness of God revealed to you when God begins to honor your children and use them as a trophy upon your head that is the goodness of God when God begins to turn your captivity ah let me speak to someone in the name that is above all names i stand by the grace of the living god and i declare to you that that which stands like a mountain in the name of jesus whose i am and whom i serve may that mountain be lifted from off your life lifted from off your destiny in the name of jesus christ listen God is a good God you have to expect the goodness of God to speak in your life if you do not expect it it will never happen I expect the goodness of God on my job I expect the goodness of God the Bible says the expectation of the righteous expectation is more than a wish I expect the favor of God revealed in my life. I expect the wonder working power of God. I expect that when I get to the office, someone under the influence of my father's hand will be compelled to bless me. Did you know while I sat back there and Pastor Mosfema was presenting the award to um you know the the management the traffic management i sat and i was blessed i said i wish many people can discern that this is the revelation this is goodness i saw the man smile nobody frowns at a gift nobody frowns at the you know god is good by the laughter that comes from your mouth genuine sincere laughter Herein is my father glorified, the Bible says, when ye bear much fruit. The goodness of God. Did you know it is even the goodness of God that leads men to repentance? The goodness of God is that powerful. When Peter in John 21, Peter attempted catching fish. He had been frustrated. Jesus had died. They were not sure he had come back to life. And he, he said, I go out fishing. Let me go back to what I was doing. This man scammed me for three and a half years of my life. I left my profession to follow him in hope that I will have a more meaningful life. Now he's killed. I'm in trouble. I go out fishing. And the remaining disciples say, we go with you. And they toiled and toiled and could not catch any fish. Here comes Jesus. The revelation of the father's goodness when he came he said little children have you any catch he said no he said cast your net to the right side as soon as they casted their net the bible says the net was about to break because of the fish it was the goodness of god peter recognized there is no one else who can do this except jesus he said i'm a sinner go away from me the goodness of god can bring judgment even to unbelievers because you see people in the dark world they know what to do they know the labor that they go through to get the slightest result. They know the graves they have to lie down upon. They know the covenants. Some of them give their children to get peace. Some of them give their joy. Some of them give parts of their body. So when they see you rejoicing, they wonder for this level of result, what is it that you would have done? And you tell them it's the goodness of God. The goodness of God. You are so good to me. You are so good. We'll never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Get tired of your current level. And we will never settle for less. When we know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. 
I expect to see and experience the goodness of God every day of my life. Turn it into a prayer. I expect. Someone pray. You will marvel and wonder at what God does in your life as a result of this. Please pray. Please pray. Oh yes, I expect. You are a man of God. I expect good news. News of salvation, transformation, ever increasing glory. The glory that excels in career. I'd like you to declare. This week cannot be like last week. I expect good things, good news. hallelujah look up please the bible talks about a man who was crippled at gate beautiful and that every time the apostles alongside others would go to pray and the man would just sit there watching and then one time he made up his mind that he was tired of that situation and while he saw um, the apostles on their way at the hour of prayer the bible says that he was begging for arms are we together now and peter and john looked at him and he said look at us and the bible says he looked expecting to receive expecting i expect favor i expect great people to talk about me I expect my name to be mentioned to the ears of my destiny helpers. It's an expectation. I expect that nothing good about my life will be hidden. I expect visibility for my products. You are a businessman. Don't sit down there and be quiet and hope that things will happen. I expect visibility. I'm in ministry. I expect visibility from the realm of the spirit and in the physical that no one will ignore my products and my services. I expect it because there is an anointing upon me. Expectation is powerful. I expect to be lifted. I expect to be blessed. I expect to be honored. I expect to be a sign and a wonder. I expect my hands to be full. I expect favor to work for me. Kali paruskiata. I live in this realm of expectation. Ever expectant. God, today is Sunday. Abba, what wonder do you have for me today? I am ready to receive. I am a receiver only because you are a giver. If you are not a giver, I have no business receiving. For a man can receive nothing except it is given to him from above. Listen, look at me. Every time, most times, let me use politicians as an example. When they go to their constituencies, the moment people see them, they expect that that politician would not leave that place without some act of charity or benevolence. Is that true? And that expectation compels that politician, prepared or not, to at least drop something. Not necessarily because he likes the people, but for his namesake. Have you seen people who play music during weddings? I mean, this is Lagos, so you know that, right? They come around you, you are minding your business about to enter your car and go. And they play music and dance around and call your name, call your son name, say something about you. And your driver says, sir, don't leave these people like this. Expectation. So when I sing about his praises and his goodness, I'm not just worshipping him. It's also a declaration of expectation. God, you can't keep quiet on me after rolling on the ground like this no i have called you a good god and i didn't call it in silence i said it before the world i've put pressure on your integrity to deliver you are so good to me now they are hearing you are so good to me so they say where is it you are as i keep singing that song i'm putting pressure on his integrity where is the goodness of god in your life
and God says no 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 you can't keep calling that attribute of me and I live your life in shame sing it as a prophecy you are so good to me Jesus you are so good to me in all circumstances in all circumstances Jesus you are so good to me Unchangeable, unchangeable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, say, intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. You are good. Shake up our door, say, Brother Labat. You are good. You are good. You are good. Jesus. You are good. Jesus, you are so good to me. sit down very quickly let's deal with the second principle and we'll pray no your life will change in the name of Jesus Christ you are in a season where you are about to see a display of God's goodness in a way that will marvel you I want you to believe it this is a prophetic church believe it believe it that for someone you will walk out of this service and you're on your way going home suddenly a call comes and you say well i mean i have not expected this and you pick that call and it's like opening a door to a realm where you will never return to your yesterday again remember the goodness of god do not forget this the goodness of god is powerful it can turn your morning to dancing in one day god can give you laughter that does not end. That you can step into prepared blessings. Listen, there are times that God will send rain on your farm and then after four months, you will yield a harvest. Huh? But there are times God can send bread from heaven directly, processed already. It's called prepared blessings. He is still the doer of all. Whether he sends rain to your farm or gives you manna directly, it is still God. And he can send both the rain and manna. Because there are times the urgency in your life does not allow the, the time before the plants will grow. You need manna directly from heaven. Let this revelation sink in your spirit. It says, surely, goodness. Is it in your Bible? They are not attributes. They are spirits. Surely, Talis Kamarotaskiata, goodness and mercy. Surely, goodness following me on my way to the marketplace. Goodness, mercy. In school, goodness, mercy. Let me give us one more point and then we'll pray. Is God blessing us? Isaiah chapter 1, please, from verse 19. The second key that controls the manifestation of the goodness and the hand of God upon our lives. Remember, the first is the revelation of the fatherhood of God. Then I spoke a bit about expectation now. 
Isaiah chapter 1, please, from verse 19. Please give it to us. Isaiah 1, from verse 19 and 20. Read with me, please, if you're a Christian, it's projected. Ready? Read. If ye be willing, uh-huh, and obedient, what will happen? If you are unwilling and disobedient, what happens to you? The goodness of the land will never come to you. The first revelation from this scripture is that there is goodness, not only in God, there is goodness in every land. That you are not experiencing it does not mean it is not there. Please listen. Every land, no matter how barren, there is an investment of God's goodness on it. Lagos is a good land. Every territory where you reside is a good land. But there is a condition for that earth to yield its increase to you. Is that true? If you are willing and you are obedient. Obedience is a very powerful spiritual principle. In fact, according to scripture, faith is not complete until there is obedience faith is not just believing god faith is not just saying what you want faith is not even just saying what god has said faith is obtaining the grace to walk in keeping with the conditions that guarantee the result that god said should come it's not enough to expect increase it's not enough to expect good things every promise in scripture is conditional the only thing in scripture that is not conditional is the love of god dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskade bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto breke teke ne kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.